Hello, this is your Express Briefing for Monday, November 4th. From the San Antonio Express News, I'm Joy Marie Scott. Become a subscriber and read more of these headlines at expressnews.com. Today, we're previewing college basketball season for UTSA, Texas, and Texas A&M. The season kicks off tomorrow. Expect sunny skies and a high of 82. A group has targeted a Texas county with some of the highest suicide rates in the state with a series of assemblies to encourage teens struggling with depression or suicidal thoughts to ask for help. One in eight young people in Texas admitted in 2017 to trying to end their lives in the previous year, compared to one in 13 nationally. STOP has held eight rallies in Brazoria County this year, with more planned. Experts caution against such large-scale discussions about suicide, depression, and mental health, but STOP says its assemblies are key to a multi-pronged prevention strategy. If you've strolled past Alamo Plaza lately, you've likely spotted a host of construction fences and jackhammers. Work to remove curbs in the plaza that have left some visitors with their own battle scars is expected to be complete in the coming weeks. Crews are replacing a large portion of the curbs with gently sloping surfaces. The temporary barriers have bothered some tourists and business operators, and the CEO of Phillips Entertainment said, quote, it looked like a war zone. Five nursing homes in San Antonio were flagged for recent citations of abuse, neglect, or exploitation. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services website now includes an icon next to facilities profiles if it has a confirmed report of abuse or neglect in the last year or documented incidents that could have harmed a resident within each of the past two years. CMS began displaying the icon to call more attention to potential problems to consumers. Competition from charter schools is a growing factor in enrollment changes for San Antonio's biggest school districts. The districts are counting students for a state-required enrollment snapshot for the current school year. The pace of suburban development and the prevalence of families with children have long explained such swings. Superintendents at Northside, Northeast, and San Antonio ISD see a need to better market their own schools to contend with expanding options available to parents. You can get a weekly digest of local and statewide education news delivered to your inbox with our Required Reading Newsletter. Visit expressnews.com slash newsletters. Consider a subscription to the Express News, the voice of South Texas since 1865. Just 95 cents for the first month, a digital subscription helps support our work covering San Antonio and South Texas. You'll get access to all our stories on expressnews.com. Join us at expressnews.com slash subscribe. And in other news to know today, Bear County recorded more than double the number of early votes from 2017 in the period that closed Friday. LeBron James recorded a triple-double as the Lakers handed the Spurs their first home loss of the season. Crowds braved a cold night to enjoy San Antonio's first Day of the Dead River Parade. A UTSA faculty group says the university has never truly embraced itself as Hispanic serving. And this is a topic of Elaine Ayala's latest column. The fracking slump is hitting home in San Antonio, where CUD Energy Services is laying off 117 employees at its facility. State Representative Roland Gutierrez of San Antonio says he'll again run for Texas Senate District 19, a year after losing a special election for the seat. 
Greg Popovich wants Derek White to be upset with him more often. An entrepreneur turned his run-in with the law into a startup. And from PolitiFact, Texas Representative Louis Gomer repeated a false claim about the Trump whistleblower. As Madame Mora's tent camps swell, Mexican officials pressure migrants to move to shelter. A video shows an official threatening to send the migrants' children back to their home countries without their parents. Visit expressnews.com for the full story on all of these headlines and more. And now the fun stuff. Texas Hamburger Company is a C player in a city where you need a solid A to be good. After 30 years of doing business, time is taking its toll with average burgers that lacked love and attention. You can find the latest 52 weeks of burger review at expressnews.com slash food. And that's your Express Briefing for Monday, November 4th. Get San Antonio's top news headlines daily. Subscribe on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you get your podcasts. For the San Antonio Express News, I'm Joy Marie Scott.